there, everybody. We are on the road again, um, headed to Las Cruces. And we have, let's see if I can do this. Brian's over there driving in the, in the sunny spot there. Dakota's right there. We got waylaid in Tucson for a while. And the reason we got waylaid in Tucson was there, well, like everybody else in the rest of the nation, there was a snowstorm. We were supposed to be in La, uh, Las Cruces Friday night, and I think we were supposed to get to Hobbs on Saturday. Is that right? Yep. All right, we're supposed to get in, in Hobbs on Saturday. Uh, it just didn't look like it would be a good idea, so we are several days later. Um, we were going to leave Monday and try to get there Tuesday, but the temperatures in Las Cruces were just unbelievably uh, cold. And then Tuesday night it looked like it was going to be uh, freezing rain. Well, he says it wasn't freezing rain, it was just rain and then freezing temperatures. So to me that's the same thing. Maybe not, but it seems like that's the same thing. He says it's not the same thing. Freezing rain is when it comes down and it, you get ice on the limbs and the, on everything. If it comes down, it's on the ground and then freezes. It's, it's the, I think it was supposed to rain when it was warmer and then a few hours later get colder and freeze. That's what I thought. Ultimately, that means ice on the road. I didn't want to be there with ice on the road and needing to get to Hobbs and trying to go through El Paso and then the Guadalupe Mountains. No, that didn't sound fun to me. So, we are leaving much later. During that time, I think we solved, or Brian, not me, Brian solved our, our um, I don't know what it's called now, the electric hitch thing. That goes, our bulldog. Our bulldog. I knew it was power, a power. Now he doesn't know what it's called. Yeah. But we'll figure it out and we'll put a little blip in there. Our our, our manual, our, our electric hitch thing that goes up and down. <laughs> anyway, the thing that attaches the trailer to the truck. Well, it, it stopped working. And we had to manually crank it, which is a good thing we have, that we can do that. So he found a burnt out fuse. Yay! But then the very next time we used it, which was here, which was there in, in Tucson, it was a burnt out fuse again. So we'll see if there's, you know, a problem with the fuses or if it's a um, problem with the bulldog. We'll just have to wait and see. So that's what's happening. Was Did we fix any other problems while we were there? No. No. We, we resolved the tire on the way, but that was in California. Did you ever tell anybody about that? No, I never told anyone about that. So well, what we, happened? We had um, a tire which uh, we purchased almost two years prior. Great tires. Um, we put all four new tires on the trailer, but this one tire, only on rare occasions, would lose air. Um, and it's funny, we could be parked somewhere for a month hosting and, and never lose air, and then I would top it off before we hit the road and it would lose a bunch of air. So that happened a few times. So we went through Calusa, California, uh, which is where we happened to have bought them originally. And um, so I said, let's stop at the tire shop again where we bought them. And it's a little, very small mom and pop type operation. And they remembered us right away, remember putting the tires on, said, yeah, let's take a look at it. They weren't busy at the time, so we pulled our truck and trailer right into, we have to kind of take it into their place diagonally. We took it in there and they pulled the tire off and put it in water. And um, just what I had suggested to him it was the case. The 
there was a little, when they put it in the water, there was bubbles coming out of the valve. So within 10 minutes, they had changed to put in a new valve, retested it, and no leakage, and put it back on the trailer, and we were ready to go. So that was kind of a little occasional annoying problem that hopefully now is fully resolved. So that was a good thing. Yay! Problem resolved. I'm trying to get in on the sun. So we've taken care of um, all our little annoyances. The fridge is working great now that Brian has uh, found that little lever thing inside the, the fridge. And I'm sure other things will come up just because life happens. And our newest issue is, is Coda. Coda is our newest <laughs> issue. He has developed he has developed a problem in the sense that he gets a little over dominating in the dog park. So we are trying to um, do some different positive reinforcement to help him with that. So whenever he shows a little bit of dominance that um, we're trying to, we're just trying to nip every little dominance thing. We're, um, we're leaving a leash on him and if he shows some dominance, we'll just pull him aside and say no and then put him in a timeout and show him that he can't play um, with the other other puppies. This is very photogenic right here too. So I'm supposed to be turning this around, so I'm gonna, I better stop. Oh yeah, this is very, very nice. I forget what the name of this is. There's one in... So I wanted to make sure you saw all these different things that we're seeing. Balancing rocks. Oh, I like that truck going through. Yeah. But you see the balancing rocks here in some cases. Very cool. Just to make sure we got that finished, um, Coda is responding well, and we'll see how well he he takes it. Um, we just really want, we don't want him to have any issues with being too dominant and having some anger. So it's time out. And then when he's he's showing compliance and you know we're trying to praise him when he does and then letting him play again so we'll see what happens um, if you have any comments about that please let us know if you've had that happen or if you have any suggestions we'll be glad to listen to them and help us with that small little issue with Coda he's such a sweet dog and usually it gets along with everybody but just recently he showed some not some uh, some pretty drastic behaviors to a, a corgi puppy that we weren't happy with. We are continuing to travel down the road. We have hit Lordsburg and enjoying a beautiful day as you can see behind us. It's just absolutely gorgeous. We've stopped at a pilot gas station right there. We made one other stop because we're not using the facilities at, at places because of COVID. We just stop and use our own trailer. Well, we had to stop on the side of the road and Brian left the arm out. We should never do that. We shouldn't leave the arm out. Anyway, everything's good now. And so I'm just walking the dog around while he's filling up the tank and then we'll get back on the road. I had to share something that happened didn't just happen today. It did happen today. It happened, what was it? Um, second day, second or third day on our trip? Yeah. Somewhere in there, I had gotten, I don't know if you can see it, this is our drink holder, and right here is what's typically used as an ashtray. Well, I, in the morning, I got that ready, and I put some treats up there. Wait, Coda. And um, well, I, could, I just got them there so that they'd be there for the day. And um, he found them. Yes, he did. Okay, you can have it. He found them and he just started grabbing treats. Like it was his little smorgasbord there. It was a free for all. And I just didn't realize he's doing it. And uh, well, now it's become his way of just having a treat whenever he wants. Yeah, I don't put treats in there unless I want him to have them anymore. Because, uh, yeah.
yeah, he just thinks it's his way of saying, okay, it's treat time. The day, I, the day he discovered it, it, it changed from being his daily treat rations to his breakfast buffet. <laughs> yeah, it was, a, it was definitely a breakfast buffet. It's just kind of cute. So, anyway, it's, we now know better. Sunny Las Cruces and we've got the highway behind us and we're just kind of killing time. We have heard that there's a storm ahead of us so we're trying to make decisions on what we're going to do. But right now we're going to enjoy a walk. It's Hopefully sunny, but it's cold. It's very cold. <laughs> yeah. It, it said it's like 50 degrees but it feels colder. And I agree, it feels colder. He doesn't seem too bothered. He's enjoying it here. Change of plans. We were supposed to be heading to Hobbs today. Well, we're not going to Hobbs. Instead, we are going to um, Las Cruces, which we're in already. I don't, I'm trying to get good light here. Um, the Guadalupe Mountains have snow, it appears on the ground, and they're supposed to get one to two inches of snow. Sorry, one to four inches of snow. So we're not gonna do that. We were in an accident earlier this year, uh, pulling a trailer, a small trailer. So we're not gonna do that. Instead, we called the Habitat affiliate here in town and we've volunteered there before. And they said that we're more than welcome to come. They have a place for an RV and they're starting up with uh, putting the, the walls up on Monday. So we'll be there for a week helping them and then we'll go on the road. So this is exciting. You know, uh, sometimes, you know, the best laid plans, the Lord chooses to do something else. So that's what's happening now. Um, we'll have um, footage of that area and what's happening there, but now you know what's happening. Our next step, 